Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing a fantasy Aztec temple build. In the beginning, I was going to make this a transformation build, but the end product ended up bearing absolutely no resemblance to the vanilla building, so it's just a one-off build. So before we build the temple, we gotta build the terrain that it's going to sit on. I just used World Edit, got the sphere brush out, used sand to make it look natural because the sand will fall because of gravity unlike grass would, turned it to stone, and then added a layer of grass on top, sprinkled in a few jungle trees, and we have our jungle mountain that we're going to be building our temple on. The main inspiration for this build were South American ziggurats, which, if you don't know what those are, pretty much pyramids. the front of our temple, I wanted to add in a stairway, and because our temple is super steep, a normal straight stairway would not work, so I had to do this sort of zigzag stair effect. It was at this point I decided to start adding some fantasy elements to the build, in this case being the four obelisks and the four corners of our temple. Now the front's not finished yet, but I wanted to move on to the side. Again, I repeated that stairway beam that we had on the front, but because these stairways aren't going to be functional, they can just be a straight line instead of a zigzag pattern. This side of the temple overhangs a large cliff, which has a body of water underneath it, so I thought it would be a cool idea to have a waterfall coming out from our temple and cascading down into the lake below. This would be a good time to say if you have any small one-time builds like this that you'd like to recommend and see get built, put it in the comments and I'll take a stab at it. With all that gray space filled in, it's time to come to the actual aqueduct part that has the water flowing out from it, and just add in some details. So at this point, there was no way to actually get to the top of the mountain, so real quickly I just added in a simple staircase. And then coming back and just sprinkling a couple of jungle trees and some vegetation to make it look a little more natural. Now this is where the fantasy elements really come into play. The floating structure is a lot smaller than our land one, and yet it still incorporates all the same design schemes, making it look like it actually belongs. And with the copying and pasting of our three remaining obelisks, we have finished our fantasy Aztec temple. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. If you want to see more from the channel, click the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Joe Bulby out.